As AMD prepares to unveil its next-generation Radeon RX 8000 graphics, rumors indicate the company may introduce GDDR6 memory across the entire lineup, overlooking GDDR7 or GDDR6W, which are faster and more recent standards. This decision, if confirmed, would defy the expectations of enthusiasts anticipating AMD's adoption of cutting-edge memory technologies to enhance the performance of its upcoming GPUs. Stay tuned as in today's video, we will explore what this could mean for the performance of AMD's next general GPUs and whether it's a strategic choice that could benefit gamers and enthusiasts alike. So, without any delay, let's get into it. While memory manufacturers like Samsung are actively ramping up production of GDDR7 memory, which promises data rates of up to 28 gigabits per second, AMD's reported decision to utilize 18 GBP's GDDR6 memory may seem perplexing at first glance. After all, the company's current flagship offerings, the Radeon RX 7900 XTX and RX 7900 XT, already feature 20 GBP's GDDR6 memory with even the mid-range RX 7800 XT sporting 19.5 gigabits per second memory. However, it's important to note that AMD's strategy with the RDNA 4 architecture appears to be focused on the mainstream and entry-level markets, at least initially. By opting for the well-established and widely available GDDR6 memory, AMD may be aiming to keep costs down and maintain a competitive price point for its upcoming graphics cards. One of the potential advantages of sticking with GDDR6 memory is its established supply chain and mature production processes. As a technology that has been in mass production for several years, GDDR6 memory is likely more readily available and potentially less expensive than the newer GDDR7 standard, at least in the early stages of its adoption. By avoiding the potential supply constraints and higher costs associated with cutting-edge memory technologies, AMD may be able to offer its RDNA 4-based graphics cards at more attractive price points, appealing to budget-conscious consumers and gamers seeking a balance between performance and affordability. Another factor that could be influencing AMD's decision is power consumption. While next-generation memory solutions like GDDR7 promise higher bandwidth and performance, they may also come with increased power demands. By sticking with the more power-efficient GDDR6 memory, AMD could potentially keep the overall power consumption of its RDNA 4 GPUs in check, which is particularly important for mid-range and entry-level graphics cards aimed at the mainstream market. It's worth noting that AMD's RDNA 3 architecture introduced the Infinity Cache, a high bandwidth on die memory that can alleviate some of the pressure on the traditional GDDR6 memory subsystem. With RDNA 4, AMD may have further optimized the Infinity Cache design, allowing the GPUs to maintain acceptable performance levels even with slower GDDR6 memory. While the decision to use 18 GBP's GDDR6 memory may raise concerns about potential performance limitations, it's important to remember that AMD's strategy with RDNA 4 is centered around delivering compelling value and performance in the mainstream and entry-level segments. By leveraging the cost and availability advantages of GDDR6 memory, AMD could potentially offer graphics cards that provide a compelling blend of performance and affordability, appealing to a broad range of consumers. While these rumors about AMD using 18 GBP's GDDR6 memory for the RX 8000 series should be taken with a pinch of salt until official confirmation, if true, it is bound to spark debates among enthusiasts. Ultimately, the success of RDNA 4 and the RX 8000 GPUs will hinge on AMD's ability to strike the right chord between performance, power efficiency, and pricing. Despite eyebrows being raised over the memory choice, AMD's history of offering compelling value propositions cannot be disregarded.
Rumors indicate the AMD Radeon RX 8000 series, featuring RDNA 4 architecture, could launch in Q3 2024 or early 2025, shortly after NVIDIA's RTX 50 series arrives in the first half of 2024. Leaks suggest the RX 8000 series is expected to cater to the mainstream and entry-level markets, so the inclusion of the older technology could be a way for AMD to keep the prices low. As the RX 8000 launch nears, enthusiasts eagerly await official details and real-world benchmarks to evaluate the true impact of AMD's design decisions, including the memory subsystem's role. That's all about today, thanks for watching.